What's up everyone? How's it going today? So I often hear from people that there is not much to do in Matsuyama. And while you're comparing Matsuyama to Tokyo, Kyoto, that may be true. But that said, there's still lots of things to do in Matsuyama. So I wanted to prove those people wrong and count down my five favorite things to do here in Matsuyama. So kick back and relax with number one, Dogo Onsen. Dogo Onsen is famous for being one of the oldest onsens in Japan as well as being the influence for the onsen in Shinto Jihiro Kamikakushi or in English, Spirited Away. But I have absolute terrible luck because Dogo Onsen, you can go in right now but it's actually under construction. And when I went to Kinkakuji in Kyoto, it was also under construction as well as the big Tori Gate in Miyajima. Anyway, if onsens aren't your thing, then there's also a large shopping district in Dogo that you can visit. restaurants and clothing stores scattered throughout the shopping district but it's mostly filled with these snack and gift shops or omiyage and giving gifts is actually a really big part of the culture here in Japan so whenever someone goes on a trip they'll usually bring home omiyage for their family their friends even their co-workers which is why you'll find these kind of stores these kind of stores scattered throughout shopping areas, on random street corners, as well as in stations in case you forget a gift until the last minute you can buy it before you head home. So also near Dogo Onsen is Dogo Park and what remains of Yuzuki Castle, which is very little, but anyway. That said, the view from the top of the hill is really great. So if you're going to Dogo Onsen anyway, I would recommend taking a short trip over to Dogo Park. Speaking of castles, so number two on my list is of course Matsuyama Castle. Now the view from Dogo Park was really great, but the view from Matsuyama Castle is probably the best here in the city. That said, there are also a lot of cultural artifacts such as samurai armor, weapons, and paintings inside the castle. So as you're heading up, you can also learn a lot about Japan and Japanese history in the area. That said, most of the descriptions are actually in Japanese, so you definitely need to brush up on your weapon kanji as well as your kanji about different areas in Japan. Once you hike up to the top and back down, you'll probably be tired, so you'll want to head to number three on my list, which is Hokkaido. Hokkaido is the largest shopping district here at Matsuyama, and you can find anything from, of course, clothing stores, arcades, gift shops, restaurants. In terms of food, they pretty much have everything from sushi, bubble tea, yakiniku, and curry. It's also where we'll find number four on our list. So let's go in. So it's eating something Mikan flavored. Mikan is the most famous thing, or the most famous food here in Ehime. So I'm about to try the place with Mikan juice. The Mikan juice costs 400 yen, or about $4. So as expected of Ehime Mikan, the juice is really good. And you can pretty much find Mikan flavored snacks and drinks anywhere in Matsuyama. So I definitely recommend trying those while you're here. Number five on my list is to go to Kashima Island. Now it's a bit outside of the city center, but definitely worth the trip. 
There are a lot of beautiful beaches in the Kashima and Hojo area. And of course, you can also feed the deer of Kashima. Don't forget to hike to the top for an amazing view. I'm once again back in Hokkaido. So to review, the top five things to do in Matsuyama were visit Dogo Onsen, Matsuyama Castle, come to Hokkaido and shop, visit the nightlife, try Mikan flavored snacks from number four, and number five, visit Kashima Island. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Jay Channel, Jay Travels. And with that, I'll see you next time. Matane.